I want to talk about some new stories that are connected to what I think will be about the soon return of the Lord. Sometimes when we hear news stories, we often think, okay, how do we connect this to the soon return of the Lord? Now, every situation, every circumstance, all has some deeper meaning. And I think about the earthquake, the volcano, uh, stories like that. But this one story really has me wondering how soon the Lord is coming. And that's the threat from Russia to the United States about a situation where the U.S. has sent F-16s to Kiev and Kuwait, um, no, not Kuwait, Kiev and Ukraine. And Putin's reaction in response was, if you do that, plan on an attack on your soil. And that means a nuclear attack. So this had me wondering, how soon it is that the Lord is coming because we are not subject to wrath and the Lord has promised us that he would be gone before that happens. Oftentimes people have said to, to me and I, I'm piggybacking on this that there will be bombs going down as we're going up. And I think we're going to test this out <laughs> because we really have no choice. I mean, really. I mean, if a nuclear strike happens in the United States, that's it. We're, we're history. And I don't think that the Lord would let that happen. This attack would be so fierce that really, I don't know how many nuclear weapons Russia would use on the United States, but it would be pretty bad. So this story comes from Watch Woman 65. She gathers some information about this topic, and if you want to check it out, please do so. So uh, another story that ties into the whole framework of the soon return of the Lord and that's the persecution of Christians and they've been called neo-Nazis by the DHS and this is a huge story now I'm Messianic I am born Jewish and I just want to say this to call Christians Anything but Christians is just terrible. And as a Messianic Christian, I know for a fact that this is where we're at. And makes me wonder how far along we are before the return of the Lord. Many people have different views on who's a neo-Nazi, but I'm going to tell you right now, the Ukrainian soldiers that are involved in some of the things that they're involved with, there's plenty of Nazi sympathizers. So we can definitely get the truth out and talk about what's going on. The thing is, as a Jewish as my, as my Jewish heritage, they have no right to call me a neo-Nazi at all. They have no right to talk to me that way. They have no right to talk to you that way. And this is a messianic channel where we talk about everything Israel and much, much more. So I said that to say this. This Christian persecution is real. 
and a lot of people hate Jewish people for a lot of reasons. So we need to know that the soon return of the Lord is going to be one of the most important events of our lives, and I know that this is going to happen soon. I don't know when. I can't count the day. I don't know the hour. I don't know any of those things at all. All I know is the same thing that you all know is that this situation is not meant for us to be here. We are not meant for wrath. Just as Jesus said that he said, you are not to be here for the wrath of man. And we know this from scripture. So let's just pray and hope that Jesus comes back at a time when we think not. Amen. Thank you for watching and God bless.